If you remember uh, many, many years ago when he filmed the program of the Prophet's Prayer, I highly recommended that use a prayer rug, prayer mat, janamaz, which is plain, in order to maintain khushu' in the salah, because the pictures and the images which are all made in China, of course, including the prayer rug itself, it distracts your attention whenever you're praying. Satan finds a reason to keep you busy in the prayer. Imagining the image of the Masjid al-Nabawi or the Kaaba or al-Masjid al-Aqsa, etc. None of that is a sunnah or even recommended. Use a plain prayer rug. The other part of the question, what people assume that when your foot or your feet stretched in the direction of the Qibla, that's a sin. No, that's not a sin. It's pure cultural. It's perfectly okay to do so. If you shift to another community like in Turkey, if you give your back to the Kaaba or to the Qibla, that's a sin. That's not a sin as well. Okay? So being respectful, revering the Kaaba, revering Al Masjid al Nabawi, should not exceed the limit where you think that you cannot stretch your leg towards the direction of the Qibla. Or if you're praying on a Jah Namaz and it has the image of the Kaaba, you cannot step on it because of the Kaaba. That is not true. That is not true whatsoever. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to what is best.